Hey guys, Enfield here. Welcome back to a new video. We're going to be looking at add-ons today with a tier 3 add-on update. So many people have been asking me about this. So obviously I've been looking to do this video to help those people out. Um, this is stuff that's not really that field tested because it's very, very early days. Things are just sort of what I've been cooking up. Um, what I've seen from other people as well to an extent as well. So uh, we're going to look at a few things. Uh, keep in mind again that this is not necessarily the best in slot add-ons. It definitely isn't, but uh, it's early. So, you know, hopefully it'll help. So let's take a look. So the first thing we're going to look at is Awakening PvP. Uh, that's what I care about the most. So we're going to do it first. You can, I'll hopefully be able to get some timestamps in here so you can uh, have a look at different things. But um, yeah, so this is my PvP add-ons at the moment. Again, things are very likely to change because that's just how things are. So yeah, uh, at the top here, Blasting Gust. Once a tier 1 add-on, um, now a tier 3 add-on, which is very, very big for this ability. So this is your sort of range KD plus evasion debuffing ability. Um, so I have all accuracy rate plus 5%, all evasion rate minus 5%. Uh, this is to really shred evasion, essentially. Now, if you are very confident in your accuracy, or if you are very confident that you are not going to face an evasion player, in that particular case, you'd probably want to swap it to uh, plus extra damage to humans, and then the second one should be minus DP. Uh, that's because you don't need accuracy against the DR target. So if you're facing like a DR Valk or something like that, you obviously don't want that, so you can do the human damage uh, minus DP. Now, uh, moving on to Wailing Wind. Wailing Wind is one of the first skills I always use in a combo. Um, that's for a variety of reasons. Just the same as PvP, or excuse me, PvE. It's very good at uh, giving you a buff, but also debuffing your opponent, which is doubly great. So, um, yeah, here it is. Uh, we got the uh, critical hit rate 30% and attack speed 10%. So the reason I have those is because critical hit rate 30% is super nice because it gives you... A grand total of 50% on Wailing Wind. Um, I, I hate when you hover over these abilities and they literally set it to 1. Bro, like, put it to the max rate of the skill. Why would I want to see what level 1 is when it has different stats? Anyway, sorry, that really annoys me. Anyway, um, so I think it's 50% because I'm pretty sure Wailing Wind should be 20% inherently. So it's 50% in total between the skill and its add-on. Uh, this is really nice because there's a couple skills in the Awakening Ranger kit that don't have good enough crit rate. Uh, on their own. They need a little bit of help. So that's skills like, uh, well, I suppose Wailing Wind itself and also, of course, Waltz of Wind, but also Tempest. Now, Tempest is the flow from Wailing Wind. So if you press Q and then Spacebar, activate Tempest, you want that crit rate because Tempest is the most powerful ability in the Ranger Awakening kit. I'm pretty sure you can't put an add on in Tempest. No. You also can't do Rushing Wind, I think. Um, so yeah, so that's nice for Tempest, but it's also nice for Regeneration, which I think is 30%, 30%. So Regeneration is 30%, so again, that won't reach 100%. Now keep in mind, obviously, Critical Hit Rate's a big boost to your damage, so that's why Attack Speed, 10%. Um, 12 seconds is more than enough time for a combo. Obviously, you maybe only have 4 or 5 seconds in a combo at best, so 12 seconds is more than enough time. Um, plus, because Wailing Wind is obviously relatively low cooldown i think at max right what is it um yeah seven seconds that's not too bad so again why are you rank one anyway uh so seven seconds isn't too bad so you can keep that up and if you maybe use it um it's one of the few skills you might throw out there just quickly you know when you're fighting somebody you can maybe do that. You know, it's one of the few abilities that might actually be thrown into a target that's not on the floor yet. And so getting these extra bonuses before you've even started anything is quite nice. Um, now we're moving on to Elven Rage. Elven Rage is usually a reset skill I use after regeneration. So if regeneration's knockdown fails and I need to reset a target on the floor with a KD, I'll use Elven Rage immediately after. So that looks like this. Very fast abilities, um, plus Elven Rage triggers the bomb effect on regeneration, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, what I have here for Elven Rage is minus 20 DP and all human damage plus 15 for myself. So this is a DR shred part of the combo. Uh, so the first skills might go off might be Wailing Wind and Temp... It, it, Ranger Awakening combos entirely depend on your attack speed, so keep that in mind. But anyway... Um, this is part of the reset, so the second KD coming in. And at this point, I need extra damage. So this is usually where I'd use Tremble, so Windblade as well will come out sometimes. So, um, yeah, so that's why we got this. This is the big DR shred. So hopefully we've already lowered their uh, evasion, if it's an evasion Andy. Um, if you are fighting someone that is evasion, you just need to make sure you're always trying to apply Blast and Gust. 
even if you're not applying the um, KD. So that means if the skill is on cooldown, just use it real quick. So the skill is on cooldown, it's still okay to like use the skill off cooldown because the add-on will still apply. Uh, which is the this so keep that in mind when you're fighting a target like that uh, waltz of wind so <sighs> This is more from my own personal build. I have evasion still um, And I know that <laughs> we're at a point now where evasion rangers, you know higher-end geared rangers We're looking at DR as well because hybrid DR is more reliable in a lot of senses uh, Evasion getting a little bit harder to run but uh, essentially here we have plus DP 20 and then evasion rate 5% this is because waltz of wind because you're literally trying to catch somebody, uh, you might actually trade into that. Because it's such a, an important core ability for catching a CC, because it goes through forward guard if you time it right, um, that's a, the core ability of Waltz of Wind. Obviously, it doesn't have super armor if you don't core it. Um, because this actually might hit targets, and a lot of these abilities do not hit targets other than Blasting Gust and maybe Wailing, like I said. The other ability probably being... Yeah, Breezy, but Breezy is too short with the add-ons, I think. And then the other one's Rushing Wind. And then, of course, there's Spirit Haven. So you might want Spirit Haven in here, by the way. Um, Spirit Haven is actually really nice. Just depends on what you like, I guess. If you can, tr if you can try and land Spirit Haven on a target, then obviously you'll trigger the add-on, which is great. Um, so you can do Spirit Haven if you want. I have Waltz, but... Yeah, you don't have to do that. Uh, anyway, so DP and evasion rate because I have evasion. If I didn't have evasion, I would probably go plus DP because you still need DR uh, as evasion and DR. So whether you DR or evasion, you want the DP, I think, because that's just nice to trade with. Uh, keep yourself alive because you don't want to die before you've got a CC. And then the evasion rate, um, I'd, you'd, if you were DR, you'd probably take this away. And, uh, you could do anything, man. I mean, you could. I suppose you could give your, give the enemy a slow. Um, you can increase your attack speed. Um, anything really. Just cook with it. You know, how, how do you like to play, okay, basically? Uh, before I do Windblade, we just do Regeneration. Like I said, it comes usually just before Elven Rage for the reset. Um, so this is this is nice. It gives you the attack speed too. So you should still have... This should be 20% attack speed by the time you reach these two skills. So use Wailing Wind to get the 10% from the add-on. Then Regeneration. Your add-on is still ticking. And then Regeneration will give you 10% attack speed as well. So that's 20% if you don't have the... Uh, any slows on you, and if you don't have, well, obviously we're not including other sources of attack speed, such as uh, the crystals that give attack speed. But anyway, in general, like if you don't have your e buff, that's nice uh, amount of attack speed. Now regeneration, I put down attack and critical. I shouldn't have to explain why that's good. Obviously, you're targeting an opponent on the ground, boosting your special type of damage is nice. Um, the only downside, of course, to that is special evasion being a thing. But ultimately, if you are hitting those, it's still really nice to boost your damage, even if it's one or two abilities or one or two hits out of like eight or something. It's still actually going to apply extra damage. Uh, now, finally, Windblade is just because it's usually the last part of the combo. Um, so, yeah, uh, the reason I have it like this is because attack speed uh, minus for seven seconds. So usually Windblade is like one of the last abilities I use. So I assume that the opponent is going to recover. At that point, if they don't get killed in a combo, this is very tanky players. Then at least this will cripple them. Um, and then the bleed is just to like slow down their healing a little bit. Bleed isn't that strong, but ultimately I've used so many different good abilities. There isn't really much left for me to reapply if I really needed it. So... Yeah, bleed is just something to keep their healing in check a little bit. It doesn't do loads, but it's something. Um, but yeah, because it's usually the last ability you might use in a combo. Um, I'm not saying you do it like that, but like it's one of the last abilities I use. So this is how I like it. Uh, now we're just going to go to PvE real quick. Oh, I can't reset during a cooldown period. How do I know what the cooldown period is though? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to exit that. Oops. Very professional video maker. Um, I guess I could just do it from here. There we go. Okay, so PvE, which is what most of you are probably interested in now. Um, I built this to cover just about everything short of, like, down attack. So literally every stat you could ever need other than down attacking. Uh, so if you're facing, like, some of the Jade mobs, maybe, um, Star's End... I think we're also down attack. City of the Dead, terrible grind spot. Um, those spots you might want down attack percent, but uh, please like think about things before you go in. Like, what do you actually need at this grind spot? Do I need some of these stats? Maybe not, right? So we'll we'll look at that. Literally the same thing as PvP. Um, I won't 
explain too much but basically obviously again you want your crit rate really high so this pairs really well in whaling wind and immediately starts you off with high attack speed for 12 seconds it's 12 seconds is so crazy anyway uh, Elven Rage. So if you're fighting tanky mobs, or sorry, excuse me, mobs that do a lot of damage, um, Elven Rage is a really big HP regeneration on the skill, and so I threw on the add-on too. So that assumes that you're, if you do end up fighting something really strong, I mean, I'll always tweak my add-ons if I remember to the grind spot. Um, so yeah, so that's something that you could do if you wanted to, and then critical hit damage five percent just to get that in there. You do want that. Mobs don't have special evasion, so special attack modifier is really important against killing mobs. So that's really nice. Um, now, uh, Watts of Wind. So Watts of Wind, we have accuracy rate 5%, uh, movement speed 10%. Now the accuracy rate you don't need if the mobs don't evade, so remove that if you don't need it. Um, that goes without saying. I think if Waltz of, if, if you don't need accuracy rate at the mobs, just throw in another minus 20 DP. Okay, because Tremble's cooldown doesn't allow this to be up all the time. We'll talk about it in a second. But yeah, if you don't need accuracy rate, throw in DP minus. Um, now, movement speed, 10% why have I put that? Well, because it's just kind of nice. Lots of wind you're often using to reposition anyway. Um, so if you do end up hitting mobs, it's just nice to have the extra movement speed. It helps you move between packs a little bit faster. Um, the other reason this is nice is because you're, if you're an early game ranger, you're watching this video and you're like, oh man, I'm really low geared. Uh, movement speed is actually really nice on Walter Wind because it's one of the skills you're going to spam the most in early game PvE. So it keeps you going. In fact, to be honest with you, you'd probably, if you're like a, I don't know, maybe you're grinding centaurs or something, you probably do attack speed plus movement speed, I think, um, as the two add-ons on Waltz, probably. Uh, it depends, but that's one of the things you could think about. Uh, Nature's Trample, minus 20 DP, minus evasion rate. You don't need a minus evasion rate if the mobs don't evade. So, yeah. Uh, what would I do instead? Um... <sighs> yeah, may maybe like um, an extra thing like uh, critical hit rate again or something. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, yeah. Um... I just, again, I threw this in here as like a complete DR shred. Nature's Tremble does have minus DP on the skill. And then you throw in more minus DP. Obviously, you're always using Whaley Wind, so that's the triple shred of DP. So that's always really nice to have. Um, the only downside, again, is Nature's Tremble's cooldown is 11 seconds. So that has a one second downtime. So again, get the DP somewhere else. If you don't need the attack speed, you don't need the HP recovery or something, just throw it somewhere else. Again, this is... I tried to build as much of a jack-of-all-trades skill add on list as possible but then you don't really master things you know jack of all trains master of none uh trades master of none so anyway yeah so evasion rate minus five percent um same thing doesn't really last but it's fine I, it'll be really good for like ash forest and stuff like that um regeneration extra ap against mobs 30 seconds for 12 seconds this should be up all the time because regeneration has 11 second cooldown as well um so this should be up all the time. So you don't really need it anywhere else because you should always be using regeneration. It's a powerful ability. There's no reason it shouldn't be used as soon as its cooldown is ready. So that uh, should go without saying. Then a critical hit damage here, um, just to pair it here again, uh, just so you keep having multiple skills with the critical hit because critical hit is a huge damage mod modifier. It uh, doubles your damage in PVE. So it's really important. Um, and then Windblade, uh, Windblade, they buffed the damage, so I threw it in here because ultimately extra damage to humans plus 15 for 12 seconds. This is like a, well, it says 8 seconds. I don't know if it's 8 seconds at max. Maybe it is. Oh, yeah, because it's, it's only got one level. So, yeah, so you should have that all the time, so it's 4 seconds spare. So, Windblade, I would use all the time anyway, same as Tremble, right? These these skills you're always using on cooldown. Um, so, if you are grinding, so let's say, Elvia Giants, that gives you the 15 human damage, and then back attack 5% for seven seconds so this is how i would roughly go about it for um for awakening pve but you know again please adjust your add-ons and i haven't even tested these it's just in my head so yeah um just to do it real quick on capped pvp it depends on the cap of the pvp and then that's going to vary um things that are useful are obviously going to be things like critical hit rate, attack speed, uh, critical hit damage, down attack damage. Uh, you could do back attack, but in Awakening, that's not as useful in PvP, obviously, as it is in PvE. Movement speed is kind of okay. Um, bleed is the other thing you want. Bleed is not on here, obviously, because this is a PvE list. You never put bleeds on PvE, but yeah. Um, so just, just a quick mention of that. Can I go to succession is the question. I can. 
All right, so we're still cooking with Succession. Again, Succession is not my primary spec, and so there might be some Suck Rangers that have cooked something way better than this, but this is my uncapped Succession PvP listing. Um, so we got Charging Wind up here with the human damage and the critical hit damage. Uh, tearing Arrow here with extra damage to humans and attack speed. So because this is your primary damaging ability, I want the, the extra AP on it and also the actual speed of attack because obviously this cancel needs to go fast. So, uh, oh my god, yeah, it reset all my stuff, so I don't have any of this stuff on here. I need to do this later. But let me just do that for now. Whoa, what did I just press? I pressed binding arrow instead of E, I pressed F. Well done. It's because I replaced all my keys because I broke them. Anyway, so you want to shoot really fast and then cancel into the skill fast. So, obviously, I'm not hitting anything, so I'm not triggering the add-on. But the, the idea is that you trigger the add-on so the, the skill goes faster. Right, so you'd be doing this 10% faster, essentially, is my point. Um, so yeah, that's the idea behind Tearing Arrow. It's the most powerful ability in the kit, technically. I mean, Charging Wind is powerful, I suppose, and Penetrating Wind after its fix is a competitor, but Tearing Arrow is the core damage in uh, Succession. Um, now we're moving on to Penetrating Wind. Now Penetrating Wind is a skill that pairs in the cancel with Tearing Arrow anyway, so um, for this I did minus 20 DP and down attack. Um, you're not really back attacking too many people with Tearing Arrow, but it does happen, so you could if you prefer it. Um, I often find though that like Penetrating Wind will, or sorry, um, I'll often be hitting people on down attacks with Tearing Arrow uh, that I've CC'd with Blasting Gust. So in that situation, I want the Dior Shred anyway. This is, I think this is really nice, but uh, and then uh, the down attack. So if you hit someone with Penetrating Wind and then recycle back into Tearing Arrow, they have have minus 20 DP for 10 seconds. So it's like a re you recycle these add-ons, essentially, as you do the animation cancel. So that's really nice. Uh, Razor Wind, I threw this in here, but I think that if you wanted to, you could probably run... Either evasive explosive shot or evasive landing shot for skill add-ons here. Um, if you want the defensive add-ons. So these usually you do movement slowed and attack speed slow on both of these. If you wanted to do that. I have Razor Wind um, just because I use it in Siege and Node Wars sometimes. When I just need a forward guard that's like going to give me that little bit of extra protection when shooting into people. Again, I have the DR Shred um, and then the Evasion Shred. So uh, for this, you know, because this is the other cancel... Um, so if I'm shooting like this, right, and then we go into Tearing Arrow, so those add-ons will have applied to whoever I've hit with Razor Wind, and then we just start pumping. Um, now we have Blast and Gust. Blast and Gust, Accuracy, and Evasion Rate, just the same as uh, Awakening. This is really cool because this is obviously a Tier 3 add-on now for Succession 2, which is so huge. Um, it was Tier 1, and um, yeah, I've already explained this in Awakening, but basically, yeah, it's just for the increased... Uh, Evasion Shred. Now, uh, Descending Current, I wasn't sure what to put on here. Now, Descending Current used to be Tier 1 add-on, now Tier 3. Amazing. Long cooldowns too. Uh, so, critical hit rate 30% because Descending Current doesn't have its own crit rate. So, that's going to boost Descending Current's damage a lot. And then DR Shred. Um, that's quite nice, actually, because... Again, another ability I need to throw back on the hotbar because they reset it. Anyway, so, you're basically... You would lift it up, right? Get ready to shoot. You click once, and then it's applied. And then the ultimate Descending Current, which is the follow-up that part right um that's benefiting from the crit rate but also the minus dr shred so every target you're hitting has minus 20 dp so um yeah usually what i'll do with that well at least in the past and would would usually i'd use charging wind and then i'd you know go bam 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 so yeah now i don't need the crit rate on charging wind because it can have its own crit rate as tier three so that's what i have for uncapped pvp again uh, keep in mind you don't need these all for capped pvp in which case you want to have a lot of slows on people just to keep your sort of control over them you want bleeds um but yeah uh, keeping your attack speed high keeping your enemies attack speed low things like that you know um so anyway so that's everything that i pretty much want to talk about for a succession pvp pve wise um i haven't tested this so i don't know um i could theory craft some stuff i guess one thing I would say that if you really wanted to, like, um, go crazy, uh, let's say you're grinding somewhere that doesn't need a ton of accuracy, like the mobs don't have evasion, uh, and you just want to shit on them. Um, Will of the Wind used to be a tier 1 add-on, now it is tier 3, so 
It doesn't have crit rate, so crit rate, and then pff, after that, man, pff, probably attack speed. That would keep the skill going pretty fast. And then you just hit some targets and then press shift and Q and go... Well, it's a lot faster when you're actually hitting things, but yeah. Um, you can do that and just be careful. Don't hold it for a full minute because a, a mechanic will come out and one-shot you if you do that. So just don't press shift Q for a full minute. Just throw in some other abilities, which is quite simple, right? You can go bam, bam, bam. Okay, I swore I pressed regeneration there, but throw in regeneration every once in a while when it's off cooldown because that keeps the attack speed even higher. In fact, actually, if we can just go... Let me just go into Battle Arena and show you real quick. Um, so this is like, uh, if you find situations where you can just do this, uh, you can cheese this a little bit. If you have high DP, you can go to stars and towers. And if you get 100% knockback resistance, those big mobs are designed to stop people AFKing there, won't be able to do that. I don't AFK, by the way, for the reasons I already stated. There's, there'll be a mechanic that comes out and one-shots you, and you can lose crystals. So don't AFK. But, um, yeah, you can do this, right? And then... So that's something you can do. Uh, you can do that at a couple different spots. Um, like, for example, you can do it at Murawax Labyrinth. You can do a lot of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, the whole thing, if you had like, oh, hang on, uh, Shift E, then do it. That's a lot of extra damage, right? Um, just keep in mind, it's going to it's gonna eat through your mana. So you're going to want spirit perfumes if you ever do that. Um, so yeah. But that's something you can mess around with. Uh, and like I said... Now that we can hit things. So you can do uh, lots of different things here. You get the crit rate up and everything. So that's really nice. Because like I said, Descending Current doesn't have crit rate on it. So again, crit rate is a huge amount of damage. Um, so yeah, there's a couple things you can mess with. But this is probably the thing that I've least tested or even thought about. In fact, this is kind of the first time I thought about Succession. I wasn't going to do Succession initially in the guide. But I didn't want to have a lot of comments being like, Succession, Succession. Um, so yeah, just... Just kind of like play with it um, because, yeah, uh, I'm still working with it. So anyway, that's um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys got something out of this video. I know a lot of people won't have watched the video and they'll have just been like, oh, this is a screen that I can capture and uh, put these same add-ons without giving it any thought. But uh, honestly, it will boost your performance if you think about what add-ons you actually need per grind spot because it should change. So. Yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will hopefully catch you on the next video. I want to do some uh, grinding videos, so we're going to see a couple hour-long sessions. We have Dark Seekers Retreat coming out next Wednesday, so I have to prepare for that as well. But yeah, thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll catch you next time.